Hey guys, welcome back to my fourth and final mediocre nail art video here on my channel. This video will be themed uh, after New Year's nails, so I have already painted all five of my nails here, and I'm gonna try and do five different designs on my nails. And I gotta say, I feel very confident about these, which makes me nervous. So if you missed the last three, I've just been doing like little supposedly simple designs on my nails in a theme. I did winter, I did Hanukkah, and I did Christmas. So now we're on to New Year's. I am not a nail art professional. I'm not even, I, I wouldn't even say that I'm mediocre at nail art. I'm like somewhere below that. So this is all in good fun. This is just attempting to do nail art as a normal human being who doesn't have a lot of practice in this realm. And so let's hop to it. So I am going to start with my thumb again, and on my thumb is Holo Taco's Indigo Away. I have a lot of Holo Taco, uh, some China Glaze, and some Essie today because not for any particular reason other than half of my Helmers are blocked. The like second half of the alphabet is blocked by my camera, which was already set up. And I don't really want to move it and then reposition it because I'm being lazy. So mostly Holo Taco two Essies and then like a China Glaze here today. Sorry about that. Not a lot of diversity with the polishes I'm using. But yeah, we got Holo Taco's Indigo Away. And I'm gonna try and do some, some fireworks with these metallics and like a longer, well, like a medium sized skinny brush. And this is Essie's Good as Gold and this is Essie's No Place Like Chrome. And I'm gonna just do very, very, very simple fireworks designs. So I'm just gonna take this skinny brush and just do a lot of like super thin lines. Kind of how like a child might draw fireworks. We're not going for, you know, crazy complicated. I did something kind of similar in a previous video when I was trying to make snowflakes. And when I saw that, I was like, that looks more like fireworks than it does snowflakes. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do gold and then I'm gonna layer some silver over all of them. That line is too thick. I like practice these. I do this thing where I've like practiced the design on my mat a little bit until I'm like, yeah, that looks good and I feel very confident. And then I come over to my nail and I attempt it and it looks nothing like it does on the mat. And I, I don't know if like part of it is being on camera and the other part is like, Doing it on your actual hand and not a flat surface is not the same. This one's getting a lot thicker. Um, I've never seen fireworks that look like that, but we're gonna keep on keeping on. So now we're coming in with the silver. I like to kind of think of the thumb as like the warm-up nail. I just feel like it's it's never the best nail, but it's also like the easiest to hide because I don't put my thumb in my hand pose. So nobody ever sees the nail art on my thumb. So like whenever I do post pictures of nail art, just know that my thumb looks terrible. This is like probably one of my favorite silver polishes. I've gone through like half the bottle in my life. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. I originally wanted to do the types of fireworks that are like arcs, you know, but when I practice it on my mat, they all turned out looking like spiders. So I thought, okay, we'll just do it like this. But this looks like, looks like a, like a bullet shot through. Like it looks like, you know, when you see really thick glass and somebody shot a bullet into the glass and it like spider webs out. That's what my thumb looks like. But I feel like in, once I do all five of my nails, then people would look at it and be like, yeah, that's fireworks. But alone, they wouldn't know what it was. It's like kind of one of those where it's stronger together. So let's try to do the other four nails and see what happens. Let's, let's see how we think the thumb looks once we're done with all five of the nails. So on my pointer finger, I have this China Glaze called For Real Though. It is a little bit washed out on the camera because it's slightly neon leaning, I feel. But I wanted to just put like, you know, the number 23 for the new year to number 2023, but I didn't want to put all four numbers. So I'm just going to put apostrophe 23, like you would when you're abbreviating a year. You get what I mean? I don't, I don't know. 
And I was like, what should I do for the backdrop? And I was like, oh, I should do the Pantone color of the year. And then I picked a color that is not the Pantone color of the year. I, I it's, it's just not, but I wanted to use this color because I saw it in the drawer and I was like, that's the color I want to use. So I'm just going to use the one coat black and the not milky white. And I was going to, I don't know what I was going to do. I thought I would do something like 3D looking. And then I remembered I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not that talented, but I want to use both of these. So I think what I'm going to do is lay one down in like the outline and then fill it in with the other. So I think I'll lay down the white first and then put the black in the middle. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I feel like one of my biggest issues, especially with the pointer finger, is centering. Let's see. I'm just going to get like a rough, like that's the apostrophe, apostrophe. Am I going to be able to fit a 23 now that I'm looking at it? Um, Let's see. That's going to be the bottom of the two. I'm trying to make a skinny two. Wait, oh my God, wait, hold on. The, <laughs> the two is backwards. Oh my God, dude, I'm 30 years old, I can't do this. I can't be doing this at 30. Why did I do, hmm, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'm gonna power through. Um. How did I do that? I just, I don't know, dude. My brain's all over the place. That's not a good excuse. I just am being like, oh, hang on a second. I had to put the dots to mark where the three is coming in off camera because I clearly I don't know which way numbers go. Okay, at least the three will be the correct way. Wow, that looks so, that doesn't look like anything. I don't know. I can't believe I did that backwards. You guys get what I meant, right? You guys know. And it looks like a five to me because it's upside down. I cannot believe I did that on camera. That just looks like a jacked up sports jersey at this point. I thought that one was actually gonna be easy. Okay, I'm gonna try and add just a little bit of black. I don't know what I, like, I feel like maybe I should have done the outline in black. And then put the white in. The middle. Yeah, this looks a little bit weird. This does not look New Year's-y at all. It looks like a sports jersey. And I'm not a big sports person, so. All right. This better not be an omen of what <laughs> my New Year is like. How did I just... How did I do it backwards? I, I wasn't thinking. Okay, for my middle finger, I have one coat black on there by Hollow Taco. And initially, I was going to do... Like with um, a striping brush, I was gonna try and do like a bunch of cool like stripes using the gold play button and rainbow snow, but these are like not opaque enough glitters. So I already tried it and I had to take it off because it looked so bad. And we're not gonna try that one again. It was just, it was bad. So I'm thinking instead, let's do like a French dot a cure because I did a whole like dot a cure all over the nail but I've seen some where people do like really thick at the tip and then kind of like peter out and they're like thinner smaller dots to, like going back almost like a gradient so let's try that so I'm going to start with the gold and like the biggest dotting tool I have and just kind of try to do randomly placed dots and they are not looking too random and I'm switching to a slightly smaller dot size. I'm not living for this, looks like. I just think that the polishes I chose are not opaque enough. So here's the silver. I don't think this is salvageable. Ooh, that's too big. Okay, this was supposed to look like a gradient. It doesn't. You know what I'm gonna say? It's champagne bubbles. <laughs> That's what it is, okay? It's not a it's not a gradient data cure, it's champagne bubbles because sometimes when your nail art doesn't turn out, you have to pretend that it's something else, okay? So we're just gonna be done with that one. Okay, so on my ring finger I have Hollow Taco's red licorice because I'm going to do a couple of Lunar New Year designs on my ring finger and my pinky. 
on my ring finger, what we're gonna do, because it's going to be the year of the rabbit next year, I'm gonna paint a rabbit. And I feel like this is gonna be my polar bear redemption arc, okay? Because I'm gonna do a similar type. I'm gonna I'm gonna use Hollow Tacos, not Milky White. I'm gonna use the brush to do like the base of the face and I'm gonna like draw ears on and everything. And I'm gonna attempt to make it not so scary because a few people recreated my polar bear design and that was not what I expected to happen when I released that video. I think that's funny that people really wanted to recreate that. So maybe I can give you something like actually worthwhile to recreate. So let's see. Okay, so that's his head. So now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna put his little rabbit ears on. So I think what I'm gonna do is mark where I want the tip of it. And that way I can kind of draw it maybe. Okay. That might be a little bit too small. All right, I think I made his head too big. I'm like sticking my right hand into all of the paint that I've been dripping onto the mat as a palette. And so my hand is like sticking to the mat. It feels disgusting. Okay, listen, I feel like this is going kind of well, but I don't remember what a rabbit's face looks like. I'm blanking. So I'm gonna have to look that up really quick. Okay, for inside of the ears, I have hollow tacos. What do you pink? And then I'm just gonna use the one coat black for like the rest of the face. Just doing his little ears. And then I suppose like eyes will go there and then I can put his nose. Okay, this is going so well that I'm actually scared. It's the eyes that's gonna mess me up. I can already tell. Okay, let's do his mouth. It looks like a mustache, but it's his mouth, I swear. What if we don't use the dotting tool for the eyes? Maybe that's my problem, okay? Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. I think you can tell what it is. <laughs> I think I did a real nail art. For real, for real. I am happy with it. I like him. I think he's cute. He's not scary. He's a little goofy looking, but he's still cute. Not like that polar bear. Um, I love him. He's my best friend. We're gonna hang out soon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't forget all these other designs. Like we we don't care about these three. Like this is this is the one. Look at him. He's what's his name? I think we should name him Ralph. Ralph the Rabbit. Hello, I am Ralph. Okay. Let's do the last design. Okay, so just going back to the whole like New Year's in Japan thing, I'm going to do a Mikan on my pinky, which if you don't know what a Mikan is, it's just like a type of orange. And I think think they originated in Japan, but also they're really popular around like colder weather months and, and New Year's and stuff like that. And so I thought I would draw one and they kind of just look like, like a mandarin orange. Uh, so it's gonna be simple. But what I have is Hollow Tacos Oh My Gourd. I might try to use some of One Melon followers as like a highlight because you know how oranges have like those like divots. For the leaf, I'm gonna use Holo Taco's Monstera. And for the stem of the leaf, just magical mustache. So this is all Holo Taco. But I just wanna do one dead center. I think it'll be, I don't know. I don't wanna say it's gonna be easy, but with the luck I had with that rabbit, maybe, just maybe. I think it's this brush. I'm pretty sure this is just like a regular paintbrush. It's not like specifically for nails, um, but it's a lot like finer. And it doesn't have like crazy hairs everywhere. So maybe that's part of it. So let's start with Oh My Gourd and just try to make a somewhat round shape, but not like perfectly round. Cause they're kind of like an oval, you know, like a flattened oval. It's not centered. <laughs> I thought it was centered. From my angle, it looked centered. And then I looked at the viewfinder and it's not centered. Starting to think that rabbit might have just been a fluke. Okay, let's let that dry a little bit. Okay, I've got magical mustache. And I'm just gonna put like the tiniest. Okay, it looks like a pumpkin. So, New Year's pumpkin so far. Okay, so I mixed one melon followers and a little bit of Oh My Gourd because I felt like 
it was just too white and I was gonna put like little dimples all over you know how like oranges are kind of dimply you know dimply orange I don't know well no it just it looks strange um I had a really cool vision and I thought this was gonna look cute and like minimalist and like stand out on the nail let's just put a leaf on it so it <laughs> so it stops looking like a dang pumpkin okay well this was simultaneously the best and the worst one because four out of the five designs didn't really turn out that great but this one is just so good compared to the rest of them that I just feel like let's all agree that it makes up for the other four. And I did a great job on that one and that one alone. And we're just going to pretend that like we don't see the other ones. And so Ralph the Rabbit takes home the prize as the best looking nail here. Okay, well, I threw some top coat on to see if that would help. Uh, it didn't. I'm just going to say that this video was worth it if only for my polar bear redemption. I mean... Look at him, he's perfect, he's cute. Uh, also, this is what my other hand looks like right now because I kept dipping it into all the polish that I had on my mat. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, mediocre nail art. Once I get a stream set up, I might do more stuff like this and we can like interact as I do it, which I think would be way more fun. Uh, but that's gonna be next year. Not this year. I'm too busy this year. Uh, and it's also almost over. So <laughs> that is going to be it from me, guys. Let me know uh, why you just really think that my rabbit is the best design that I've ever done. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.